Hey everybody, excuse me. Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and it's been a while since we did our uh, League of Legends uh, slate review or slate. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, lineup build, and I've decided again that whenever I put something on Stake Kings, I'm going to put the lineup build uh, on my YouTube channel so that people can see how we got to what we got. You know how we got to what we got to. And so everybody will kind of know who to root for without having to kind of stroll through the, you know, the uh, the lobbies searching for who we have. Um, and again, it'll give us a, give you a little insight into how these lineups were built, what our thought processes were, and, you know, maybe learn a little something along the way. So again, it's been a couple of weeks since we played League of Legends. Uh, this is going to be a 4 a.m. slate, and it's a two-day slate. So... You have uh, Hanwha against T1 at 4 a.m. Uh, today, uh, and then uh, BLG versus Weibo tomorrow in, what is it, best of five? Um, looks like it's... No, it looks like it's best of three, actually. Otherwise, the projections wouldn't be this low. Um, pretty awful that I don't know what it is, right? Pretty sure it's best of three. Uh, nonetheless, uh, let's see what we can come up with here. And again, nothing you can do for with sub risk, especially on a two game slate or two day slate. But we're pretty sure that we know who's going to be playing in these. And uh, let's just get them moving. So here's a couple of bits of good news. In, in the shock blast, there's a maximum of 22 entries that you could put in, which means that everybody can only put in 22 entries and we're not really going to have to get that cuckoo, you know, to, to compete for, you know, a decent prize here. Um, we're, we're, it's, it we don't, we might not have to deal with, you know, 30, 40, 50 dupes in some of these lineups. If everybody only gets to play 22 lineups, even though it's only a two game slate, that is definitely the good news. Now I imagine as we reveal what the initial builds look like, that it was going to be a whole bunch of BLG four mans with a combination of HLE and T1 uh, three mans, just because BLG is a big, you know, minus 550 favorite. And what's going to be interesting to see is whether pricing has restricted the types of builds you can make. And it does not look that way because, because your natural builds that we're getting here are, 100% BLG, actually 100% Hanwha, which is a little pretty cavalier there. And then as far as four-man go, it looks like most of them are actually coming from Hanwha, which is very surprising to me. I guess that means that it's harder to get the BLG four-man in. So that that's I guess my my logic there of why that's the case. So because this is the main build, we're just not going to play this. You know, it's just it's, this is this is going to be way too popular. Um. So let's see what we can play. Let's uh let's put the sim settings in, and the first thing we're going to do is save all this to save my uh. my DraftKings uh, contest files to, to Saber Sim here. Oops. Um, hang on. Pretty sure that we did the right thing. Yeah. Okay. So we'll add all contest sims here. And we'll see what we have. Okay, so they only filled in the shock blast. And they're going to use Saber Sim ownership. Now we're going to, you know what we're going to do? Instead of using Saber Sim ownership as the field, we are going to do build one and presume that this, I'll show you what, uh, where's the pool over here? Hold on. Um, players, pool. Let's look at the team stacks 
of the pool. So it'd be 67% BLG, 57% Hanwha. Boy, 32% of my of mine are are WBG or Weibo stacks. Is that this reflective of the pool, you think? I don't know about this. Let's see if we can't. Let's take a look and see what the field lineups would be. If we used uh, the stock Sabersim ones. So it'd be 72% BLG, 55%. I guess this is a little bit more representative of the field to have like 70% BLG. I think that makes a lot more sense. So we are going to use the Saber Sim ownership as our contest fields, I believe. So let's uh, change that to Saber Sim ownership. And then we're going to add the, I still call it the tribe, but it's actually the gauntlet. And I think it's the same thing. We'll use Saber Sim ownership to determine the contest field. And it's going to be the same, except just, I think, 15 entries or something like that. 15 entr uh, entrants. So let's run the Sims and see what we get. See if we get anything else except for HLE, BLG. All right, uh, let's look. Uh, Shock Blast. According to the Sims, we'd be getting... A little actually, a little more spread out, a little more T1 here. Now, we're still getting almost all the BLG, but we're getting some T1 as well. Um, so let's, um, let's get a little more diverse, go to maybe Min Uniques 2 here, see if that helps the distribution. I guess it's a little more WBG. So that's not bad. What's the uh, the stack exposure here? So almost all four threes, except there are a couple of four twos. Um, I think we should look into the character of the four twos and see what they look like. And this is actually not bad to put T one in the in the team all by itself. That, that's that's not terrible to get a little unique. This one put WB, you know, Weibo in the in the team by himself, by itself. This one here, again, WBG. The the I don't know these types of builds I don't really like. And this one, Zayas in the, in the top position by himself. So, you know, Zayas has been really annoying to me. So we're we're probably, honestly, we're just gonna we're not gonna play these four twos today. We're gonna X these out. So we'll play nothing but four threes. So the problem is, is that we're giving ourselves the most popular of the lineups. Um, so we we should do some geo mean filtering here. So for those that just watch League of Legends, uh, maybe you don't see this all too often, but I mean, League of Legends lineup builds, you'll see in the uh, in the shock blast, seven hundred eighty four people are in it. So we'll put that in our geo mean calculator. And then let's say we only want one dupe. Our geo mean is 32.9 is what we're going to need. So let's put that in and see if we can't get it. I think we should be able to get it pretty easily, actually. 32.9. And the reason why is there are not that many entrants in this, you know? So still, we can get, you know, all this BLG. And I'm not going to say get completely unique. Just curious. What if I went for the, for the you know, DFS PhD approach and just instead of doing one, uh, one dupe, make it 0.1 dupes and see what that geo mean turns out to be? That means if you want zero dupes, pretty much. So now you have a 22.4. I actually think that's, that's worth trying to see what we can get. But it just doesn't look like we're going to be able to get much of anything.
No, we're going to get some. So, okay. So let's do 22.4. And we could definitely get it. And now we're getting a little bit more of the less popular stacks, like a lot of T1, a lot of Weibo. And we are going to be getting all four threes. Um, so I actually like this as a way to get sort of unique on this slate. Um, let's make sure that we don't have any just kind of bad captains. No, it's all ADC captains. Elk, Chukukuma, UC, Viper, and Light. So this is all pretty good. So we're going to enter this and just remind everybody what we're going to have here. Wait, duplicates? Wait. Oh, because we're playing 23. Sorry about that. This late hour. second um okay so 23 lineups doesn't really change anything so we're going to put these in and we'll remind ourselves of what we have here we're going to have team stacks we're going to have 60 percent t1 52 percent w you know weibo and 47% BLG, 39% Hanwan. This is getting kind of different. We we've we've um sorted by we've we filtered by a pretty low geo mean. So I think that this is going to get us unique lineups, or at least some of them. I think that makes some sense. And now let's do the um gauntlet. I don't think we have to worry about Geo Mean too much there. So here we could play. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Like an interesting 3 4. Uh, Hanwa and then BLG 4 man on day two. So we'll put that one in as well. And yeah, so the good news we're going to have combinations regardless of what comes in uh, tomorrow, but we're actually going to be rooting for a sort of uh underdoggy t1 and with it comes to four mans though the four mans are going to be just hanwa and and blg um but if we can get a good weibo stack in there or a t1 stack in there i think we could be in business all right so that's going to do it uh I'm going to post this just after lock for the, for day one. And then what we'll probably do is for day between day one and day two, um, I'll like analyze the slate and, you know, figure out where everybody stands. All right. Good luck, everybody.